Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with a tag video that is created by one of my good friends here on YouTube, Debbie from Vinyl Beauty. And this tag is called the Ageless Beauty Tag. Yes, I always need to check what the name of the tag because... Memory? No. So Debbie has done this tag herself and I watched her video and I think this is a really really interesting tag and I felt I really want to do it and I hope that I can do it and I hope that I can answer all of these questions because I... As you hear, I, English is not my first language and sometimes I think it's hard to make myself understood when I need to be more precise with what I say. I, I really hope that you get what I mean. So this is 10 questions and Debbie, she tagged me, so thank you so much. And I'm just going to answer these and I think this might be a long video, maybe, I don't know. So the first question is, to what degree do you think society, social norms influence the makeup we wear as we get older? And I, I think it does really like very, very much. As for myself, but I am 31 for you who don't know. I feel though that people often think that I'm looking younger than I actually are. I don't really care how old I look. But I think, especially for me, because I might be a little bit more, not on the edgy side, but I have piercing in my nose, I have stretched ears, I have had a side cut. And it feels like when you get older, you need to be more normal. You can do like the crazy things when you're younger, but when you are older, you need to be more normal. And I think that society is really, really like that. But at the same time, it's changing now. Now I'm only 31, but I remember when I was like maybe 12, if you had like a tattoo on your face or your hands on or on your neck, okay, that has nothing to do with it. But I think that it's changing now, but I think that society is really like, when you're getting older, you need to be more normal, like no crazy hair color, no facial piercings, no stretched ears, no crazy like hairstyle, because you're supposed to look your age and the older you get you need it to look more normal so I think it does it really much and the same with makeup you need to be like the normal natural makeup the older you get because you can experiment when you're younger but when you're older it's this like no makeup makeup looks and I think that I think that is strange but that is how I feel. So I think society is really like in social norms that the older you get, the more normal with everything you need to look. I don't agree with that, but I think it is like that. Question number two. At what age do you think it's inappropriate to wear makeup that is traditional, seen as more youthful, like colors, glitter, and etc.? And now I'm going to... I think I'm going to talk pretty wide, maybe not just about makeup, but about style as well in this tag. I think that you can... I don't think makeup has an age, it doesn't have has a gender, it has... you do whatever. But I feel it's... you need to know your face and you need to know like your eye shape and you need to know what suits you because nothing suits everybody and I don't say that in like a negative way if you want to do something that is not appropriate for you or that is not going to suit you you can do it anyway but I feel like some things makeup wise maybe don't look good it has nothing to do with your age but it has to do with knowing 
your face and also I think if you look confident you can like look you can have the shittiest makeup ever if you just look confident I think that builds like a lot and make everything better and I am that person that if you want to be 80 years old and wear glitter lid do it but do it the way that it suits you I think that makeup has no age but I should I take an example I I don't know if any of you feel the same or have noticed this, this as I have but sometimes when I see older ladies like in their 70s and 80s they do their makeup as they is always done <laughs> and I think that is not because you change over time I am not looking the same as I did like five years ago and I think it's important to change your maybe not style but change your I don't know how I thought that I was going to be able to answer this this would be so much easier if I could do it in Swedish but I'm going to try I think you just have to do it that it suits you and you have to like accept that you're getting older and you maybe can't do your makeup the same way you did when you were 20 than when you were 50 that is my opinion I really hope that I think you just leave the question <laughs> like that so question number three be honest, have you ever looked at an older person and thought that they should not be wearing makeup anymore as they are too old to make it look good? And yes, but as, is, as an answer to the question before this, I think you can do the same, but you just have to make it workable for you. Like maybe if you have had really really dark hair when you're younger and you do your eyebrows really really dark and black and then your hair is getting gray or it's getting lighter and you still do this really strong black eyebrows it doesn't look good often it doesn't look good it could look good but it often doesn't when you're maybe not have any other makeup so I think you need to adapt your makeup to how you look but I think everything's doable and yes I've seen like older persons that I see that they have done the same makeup things like forever and it's just like it doesn't look good anymore it looked good or it looked better when you were younger but not now and you can make it look good, you just have to change it to fit you as you look now. Okay, question number four. When you're watching YouTube, do you tend to watch channels from creators of a similar age to you or do you think it doesn't matter? I think that the most people I watch are in the same age. Some are older, like Debbie is older than me and Nikki Raven that I look at is older and... Angelica and Jessica and Angelica is older, Annette is one year older than me but I also watch people that are younger, like four years younger than me and I've talked about this a little bit before, I think it was with the Get Red With Me that I said it's a lot of difference between English speaking YouTubers and Swedish YouTubers and I tend to watch people that are in the same age as me because we usually have the same preference we maybe like the same things we might have more like if I'm getting to look at the get ready with me that somebody does I want to look at someone that talks about things that are happening in my life if I watch like a 15 year old, they may be going to talk about school and how it was when you were 15. I'm not 15 anymore and I can't see myself in that. But if I watch in some, someone, maybe talking about work, talking about the partner, talking about buying a house, 
and stuff like that and how you feel when you're getting older that makes more sense to me to watch and I do watch youtubers that are in the same age as me but it's nothing like okay I can't watch them because they're younger but it's just like I have more in common with people in my own age but at the same time I can have something in common with someone that is 22 and 52 but just that we are like kind of in the same place in our life I I tend to watch that and I, I think that is pretty normal, actually. Question number five. Does ageism... Ageism? I, I, I have never, ever heard this word before. And, okay. Ageism. It, it, it sounds wrong. Maybe I should have looked it up. Do you think ageism exists in the beauty world? If you think it does, where is this originated from? And yes, I think that makeup that are supposed to be for... I don't know what to say, older people, <laughs> younger people, that it is more like it's going to be natural and light and not full coverage, maybe just a little bit color corrected and maybe just lashes and stuff. And I don't think that makeup is really like but it's at the same time use whatever you want but I I really think like if you want okay a beauty like ad for maybe a foundation or a concealer they are showing like 20 years something that hasn't have any wrinkles on their face like ever and that is a little bit strange because older people that has wrinkles also want to use makeup so I really think that makeup brands at least the bigger brands are really like to the younger part of people and I think it's just because brands want to show like a flawless perfect skin and maybe their foundation isn't that good so maybe they have to take somebody with a flawless, perfect skin. So, yeah. It's the same like with skincare. Like, this is age... Age Defense Skin Cream. Something, something. The person in the commercial is like... Do not need that. So yeah, I... I, I think it's just because brands want to show their best. And... Uh, I think it goes both with makeup and with skincare. Uh, question number six. Do brands do enough to attract cater for the over 30s? Do you think there is an untapped potential here? And I am really into in the makeup as you may have seen and I think that the most in the brands are like they don't give a fuck about age if I'm going to be honest. and like Kaleidos, they send out PR to people that are older and to people that are younger. I think that indie brands do because they don't care who you are. If you love their makeup, they are going to love you. So I think that indie brands are pretty good at it. Mainstream brands are not. Okay, question number seven. Do you do anything to contract aging or do you think it doesn't matter? <laughs> this might seem... I have this... When you're in your late 20s, in your early 30s, you are... You can start to use anti-aging product and they might actually do something for you. You can't start with the anti-aging too, too soon because... Like too early because it's... It doesn't do anything. I do anti-aging, but as right now, I don't mind getting older. I would love, like my mom, she has this really like light gray hair. I would love to have that. I think though I'm going to stay blonde the rest of my life because my father is and I am like a copy of my father. I am really 
we look alike, me and my dad, and I wouldn't mind to have grey hair, if I'm going to be honest, and wrinkles. I, as right now, I would say that I don't mind because I don't have them, but I don't know if I'm going to like get panicked whenever I get them. But it's like, I'm not like, okay, if I get a wrinkle, I'm going to use Botox. Botox, Botox. I don't think so. I use some anti-aging, yes, I take care of my skin because I have dry skin and it's crumbles up if I don't do it <laughs> but I'm not that like I'm getting older it's nothing I can do about it the only thing though I don't like with getting older is my body and like my <laughs> do you remember when you were like 18 or 19 and you could sleep like three hours per night and you were like wide awake when you woke up now if I sleep less than like five hours I'm dead for like two days when did that happen I don't know so that is like maybe the only thing and my body hurts a little bit more I'm a little bit more stiff my eyesight is not that good anymore like it was when I was 22 but Nothing like with my appearance, nothing that I feel right now at least, maybe when it will, will happen, maybe I get panicked, I don't know, but as for right now, I don't really care. Question number eight. In your mind, do you equate aging with a dim diminishing of beauty? No, I do not. I think you like need to not be ashamed that you're getting older, because then <laughs> I think it's, people can see that if you are like crazy with injections and everything, I think you look so much older than you actually are. So I think people that embrace that they are getting older, they doesn't look old and they still look beautiful. And But people that are like really desperate and do not want to age, I think they can look older than they actually are. Question number nine. Name a channel that you would recommend as someone who challenged age ageism in the beauty community and shows that anyone can wear whatever they want. And my answer to this is Debbie. I Debbie does some of the most amazing looks and she wears bold colors, bold lipsticks, big wings. She has pink hair right now. And she is, you are 51, I think, or 50, no, I think you're 51. Sorry if you aren't, but I, I'm kind of sure. Around your 50s. And I just love that. That is amazing. And like also Nikki Raven, she's in her 40s and also a lot of my friends that here on YouTube are maybe five, six years older than me and they like do whatever. So I would recommend Debbie for sure. And a lot of other people. And question number 10. What tips do you have for anyone older who wants to venture into colorful or bold eye looks? And I I really wanted to do this tag because I think it's such an interesting subject to talk about. But at the same time, I don't see myself as older in that way. If I look to the Swedish beauty community, I might be a little bit older. But I'm also are a lot more colorful than the Swedish beauty community. But I think just just try it. Just own it. If somebody stares, they will stare. It won't kill you. It won't hurt you. It won't make you sick. Just do it. Maybe 
try with like a bold lippy maybe take a red instead of a nude maybe take a blue mascara instead of a black mascara take something fun in your waterline maybe take something in your inner corner just to spice it up you don't need to go full out bold neon glam blue green purple at once i didn't do it and i think it's good to start a little bit just to feel comfortable so i would recommend to just try it maybe do a look sitting at home just to play with makeup and see how you feel and then start easy maybe take like dark purple instead of a black if you're going to do a smoky eye just put in some little colors at time and just play with makeup because makeup is supposed to be fun and it doesn't matter who you are it doesn't matter how old you are just do it just try it and okay this was my this might be the longest tag I have ever done and it feels like I didn't come to any conclusions and Debbie thank you for a fun tag I hope that someone gets something out of this I really hope so yeah I think this is a really interesting thing to talk about to talk about beauty and even though I may be young in someone's eyes not even in my own eyes. Who am I kidding? But I think it's important to just be who you are. However old you are. Doesn't matter. I have still... I look like this. I have platform shoes. I have things that maybe aren't supposed to be for a 31 year old. I don't know. I still use the clothes I want. I still use the shoes I want. I do the makeup I want and I'm just trying to be whoever I am so yeah I really hope you like this video and don't forget to check out Debbie I will leave her video and her channel down in the description I will also leave all the questions if you want to do this I think you should do it if you want to and or maybe not you need to answer all the questions but do some of them because it would be fun to hear what you think. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!